Dr. Adam Hamoui joins us live now from the Khan Yunus area. He's among more than a dozen American medical workers trapped at a hospital there. He's a former Army, Army combat trauma surgeon. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us. As I mentioned there, you have seen combat in your lifetime. You have seen war. You have gone on medical and humanitarian missions before. So when someone like you, when someone with your background and experiences <coughs> says that they are shocked and they are saddened and they are heartbroken by what is happening in Gaza, that really should force people to sit up and take notice. Describe what you are seeing there. I'm seeing a utter destruction of, um, you know, buildings and people and basically a whole civilization that's going on here. Uh, this war that I'm seeing is not combatants of fighters fighting fighters and trying to get a victory in that sense. What I see is children, women, um, civilians as being the primary targets. I'm seeing that their homes are completely being destroyed so that they have nothing to go back to. Um, I just talked to a nurse that I was working with the first week, and I haven't seen him for several days. He walked in this morning, and I asked him where he's been, and then he broke down in tears. Basically, he had to evacuate his family because he was in the evacuation zone. He took his wife, his two daughters, one that's about two years old, and the other one who was three months old, they had to go to a safe zone, which was basically somewhere in the desert. They had no food. They had no water. They had no shelter or tents. He had no electricity so that he could like call anyone or tell anything. And he had no bathroom. So he said, we were living like animals. He had us wait in line from dawn for about eight hours just to get a jug of water for his family. And it wasn't normal drinking water. This is water they're supposed to use for washing. But of course, they're using it to drink because they have nothing else. This is what they're going through. This is what they've been going through for the last eight months, moving from one place to another. This is not war. When I see kids that are 13 years old, a couple hours ago, I got a one-year-old and a four-year-old with, with burn injuries from an explosion. Um, this morning, I did surgery on a child who had three limbs that he's lost and the, and the, the, the remaining hand He's lost, uh, you know, three of those fingers. So he has two fingers to work with. This is not war. We do not fight wars against children. We do not fight wars just to destroy homes so they have nothing to go to.